I was a bit surprised by that. PJ Skeen was caught off guard by this announcement at a meeting on the Queechee Gorge Bridge. On the netting auction, when we add everything up, um, we're, we're not going to pursue it any further. VTrans deciding not to move forward on the netting option when it begins a major rehab project on the historic 107-year-old bridge. A lot of costs and a lot of additional work on our part to, to put the netting in and to, and to move forward with maintenance of the bridge and maintenance of the netting to make sure it works. Instead, they are looking at permanent safety fence options. These designs are examples of what could be put in place. I think they're taking aesthetics into, into point of view. A temporary fence was installed last month after the bridge has seen an increase in people jumping off over the last decade. Other safety improvements call for increasing the widths of the sidewalks and the installation of a pedestrian safety barrier. VTrans is also planning to replace deck joints as well as painting and cleaning the bridge. Construction is not slated to begin until 2021 and skiing remaining optimistic about what it will eventually look like. We're a long ways away from uh, figuring it all out yet, but uh, yeah, I think it'll be good. In Hartford, Matt Layton, NBC5 News.